Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The King of Pentacles is someone who is grounded. This is somebody who is dependable. They work hard. This could be someone, I don't know why. I mean, definitely someone financially stable, right? But I immediately I'm getting like, maybe this person's in shape. This person's strong. <clears throat> mm. Somebody built for tough. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, okay? <clears throat> Show me more here for the collector. Built for tough. Oh man, the uh, full card, a new beginning here. You could be, you could be in this King of Pentacles energy, male or female, it does not matter. The full energy is like somebody here ready to start over. So somebody here's finances are looking good. Somebody's ready for something new here or their list. It's just like somebody's ready to hit the restart, the refresh button. Um, Okay, <clears throat> there could be an unexpected new beginning, new beginning or an unexpected experience. Let's see. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, I kind of feel like I'm going to get another card, but this Ten of Wands in reverse, I, the, if the first thing I got collected was basically like dropping all the burdens, no, no stress, no baggage. Um, or somebody here could, a King of Pentacles energy could want to start fresh. I see some drama on the bottom of the deck already. The Queen of Wands in reverse, child. This King of Pentacles could be going through it with somebody, a, a feminine who is obviously distorted, a feminine who is jealous, who is emotionally abusive. I feel like somebody here who's extremely like loves attention. This person craves attention. They could be a Jezebel energy. Someone who maybe sleeps around, if that's not the case, it's definitely somebody with low, 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 low self-esteem here. And this person is ready to let go. This King of Pentacles is ready to let go of this Queen of Wands in reverse. This person could be a fire sign. They don't have to be this feminine, okay? They ready to let go of this person. They might even be carrying the weight of this person financially taking care of this feminine, this, this feminine reverse they might be taking care of them. They're tired of taking care of this damn feminine. They, yeah, they are. Ooh, ooh, eight of cups. Well, uh, okay. So this king of pentacles is tired of carrying the weight for this feminine, honey. I, ace of cups in reverse. It's no love over there. It's no love over there. I, I Or this person just lost love for this. Yeah, look at this shit. This king, look at this. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, with the Knight of Wands upright. Definitely this feminine is sleeping around, child, sleeping around town, okay? <laughs> Somebody likes Sexy Red? Does this person like Sexy Red? No hate on Sexy Red, you guys. I'm just saying, but Queen of Cups in reverse. This feminine is jealous. They are... This masculine is tired of carrying the weight of this distorted feminine, okay? This is somebody here who definitely loves attention, loves money, cares about the way something looks. But I feel like this masculine is carrying this feminine. And they're sick of carrying this feminine. And this feminine sleeps around. This feminine is emotional, emotionally abusive for sure. Or manipulative, they're definitely not supportive. I can't make this shit up. The Queen of Swords behind that Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords. This person is definitely emotionally abusive. And this masculine is like, how can I get away from this shit? Virgo energy with the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Six of Cups is here. So this masculine is like may have children with this person. This masculine is trying to figure out what they can do to detach themselves and get free from this person. They are definitely ready to let go with this Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody's looking for it. Yeah, look at this. This person is trying to figure out what is their get out of jail free card to, to just get away from this person. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Six of Cups. All right. What's this Ten of Wands? Here we go, y'all. Here we go. 
What's this ten of, ten of Wands in reverse for this masculine? The High Priestess. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? Pisces, Energy, and the Star. This person is... Somebody here could be a Pisces or an Aquarius. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? Spirit is telling this person to... Yeah, Spirit is telling this person to let go. This person is feeling called to leave a situation and let go of a situation. This person is like... Let me just go ahead and accept this loss and accept it is what it is because I'm tired of going with the back and forth. I'm tired of the hoorah, whatever you want to call it. I'm tired of the conflict. I'm tired of the constant fighting here. This person is trying to do everything they can, Leo energy, to be strong and just, but this person is like, fuck it. If I got to take this L, I'm going to just take this L. That's the energy this is giving. I'm going to go ahead on and take this L. Show me more here. Show me more here. What's this high priestess? What's this high priestess? Was it done in the dark? Coming to light? Something here. What's this high priestess? Yep, what's done in the dark is coming to light. Seven of Swords in reverse, like I said, and the Ten of Cups upright. Somebody here, it could this situation could involve, like I said, a family dynamic or uh, somebody may have a long history with this person or have children with this person. This person is really seeing this 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 Queen of uh, Wands, this distorted feminine, for who they are. They're accepting it is what it is. They're accepting the situation for what it is. And they're just like, fuck it, I'll take this L. Five of cups in reverse, seven of, seven of swords in reverse, ten of cups. Let me just go ahead on it and just take this L. That's what I have right here. Show me the seven of swords in reverse. What happened? Ten of swords. This person was betrayed by this feminine and the devil. On the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. This person was stabbed in the back by this feminine. But the thing is, this already happened. And this masculine has had enough of this woman. Or this male. Okay, whoever, whatever. The devil. It, this person is like, I really got to get away from this toxic energy. Because this is not it. So this person is healing and doing everything they can to try to hang in there with the strength energy to have the courage to walk away eight of cups and just move the hell on because something definitely came to light, you know, and it's taking a lot for this masculine. It's going to take a long time for, I feel like, for this masculine to heal. So this did, this did not just happen yesterday because this five of cups energy is here in reverse and so is this ten of swords in reverse. So this already happened and this person is finally getting the courage to just go ahead and just take the L. What's this ten of cups? The devil and the knight of swords. I'm telling you, whatever this situation is, honey, is somebody is over there talking reckless, acting reckless. Like somebody is really, really aggressive in this situation. And I'm telling you, the way that this ended well, somebody could have gone to jail. I don't know. It's it's just not looking good. You know, too too much. This this feminine is just <sighs> trying to either a hold on to this, hold on to this masculine extremely like too tight. Or they might be holding on to this masculine because they're depending on them for their money, right? Um, or for the financial stability that this masculine provides. Um, there's a lot of conflict here, like a lot of disagreement with this person. It's a, it's definitely feeling one-sided over here. This person is definitely dishonest and this is definitely, it ain't working. Look at this. The Justice in Reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Libra Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy here. This is masculine is, is exhausting and ready to let go and give up. They are, seriously, I feel like somebody here is e emotionally exhausted. Their pockets are suffering and taking a hit. This person is, feels like this masculine saying, well, damn, I keep taking L after L. <sighs> yeah. Dishonest. This feminine is so dis. Let's move on to another deck here because, you know, 
This is definitely a karmic feminine right here. And the masculine is sick and tired of this energy. This is somebody that either you're dealing with or this is somebody that you know was dealing with someone else. But see, your energy is out here. We have unconditional love and I think about you all the time. So this is telling me this masculine is thinking about you or this feminine is the whoever this person is is in this upright king of pentacles energy they miss you you were uh, you gave this person unconditional love healthy condition unconditional love and this person can't stop thinking about you but they got a whole situation over here unfortunately with karmicville and now this masculine is like i can't take any more else yeah, I, this person is really stressing out. When I tell you this person might be suffering, uh, they may have lost some weight. They're not looking too good, collective. Like, this person knows that they just, this person really feels like they need a break and some time away to themselves. They do miss you. They do miss you. Definitely a third party situation here with this third party. So, this could be, it, this situation doesn't mean you're talking to this person. Maybe some of you all know what's going on in this masculine's life, this king of pentacles life, or you maybe this is something that you don't know. Um, but you definitely, um, this is somebody, this person has, this person has a history or children, some form of family dynamic with this person. And this feminine is very spiteful, very emotionally abusive, maybe even physically abusive. But remember I was saying you, you are showing up here as like this queen of cups upright. You are a very loving person and this person misses that. Uh, for some of y'all, this person could have cheated on you with this, this person, okay? Um, some of y'all, you're definitely dealing with somebody here that was a soulmate, or this person could have thought this third party was a soulmate. But this person feels like the connection between the two of you is heaven sent. So they may just feel like they made a karmic. They know something isn't right. They know they didn't make the right decision. Um, show me more. Yeah, I told you this masculine is done. They're just going to take this L. They can't take it anymore. This masculine cannot take this shit anymore. They are D-O-N-E, honey. Let's go ahead and, um, see what this person wants to say to you. So, zodiac signs we have out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries energy with the Fool, the Star energy, Aquarius, Pisces energy with the High Priestess, um, and the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, Libra energy with the um, Libra energy with Justice in Reverse. You could be somebody here could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Show me more here about this situation. Okay, this person wants you to know that this person means nothing to them. And they want to know, can they come back home? So for some of y'all, you were with this person. They could have been, this person could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or you could be an air sign. We'll, we'll, we'll tap into that air sign energy, but this person wants to know, uh, can they come back home? And they want you to know this person didn't mean anything to them. <laughs> It's hard for me to commit to one person. Interesting. So they definitely cheated. But the masculine is coming out up right now. So that's telling me because they went through this drama over here. That now they're learning a lesson. Ten of swords in reverse and five of cups in reverse. You inspire me to be better. Yeah. You've inspired. This whole situation has inspired this person to be to get to be better. Not just you, the way you handled the situation, it has inspired this person to be better. The way this other person, this third party, man handled their ass, you know, is is basically pushing them to be better too. I'll go to war for you. Here's the thing: I don't really feel like this person went to war for you. Are they going to war for you now? Because to me, how are they going to go to war for you when they in their own battle, in their own situation, or in their own home? And, uh, you know, show me more. 
shit, do they even have any energy to battle for you? Because it seems like all they are experiencing is a current battle. They definitely have been through it. Me and my person argue over you and do. They definitely do. Because this person knows that they're spiteful. That Yeah, I'm telling you, this masculine done had enough. They're like, you know what? Screw this. I'm better off by myself. I could do bad all by myself. That's how this masculine is feeling. They're just really sick of going through it with this person. Yeah. Now this person's like, I can't believe I messed this up with the collective. What can I do? And look at what's on the top of the deck. I'm trying to leave them. They are trying to leave. I don't know if they're going to be able to get out without a fight or some more drama or without somebody getting hurt. Look at this. I'm hiding a lot right now. See, there is a lot of red flags going on here with this person. Unfortunately, a lot of, yeah, I'm leading you on, but that came out in reverse. So I feel like maybe in the past, this masculine led you on while they were over here doing something with somebody else. And all that was, was a burden. That's all it was. This person don't want to let you go. Let's see here. Let's pull out the Kipperish deck. I really love this Kipperish deck. This Kipperish deck uh, by Intuitive Kev. Shout out to you, Intuitive Kev. Um, look at this. Conflict and relationship. This deck be on point. This deck is so accurate, y'all. Um, and I love the way these cards shuffle too. So this masculine is going through it over there. This masculine is tired. Show me what's going on over here with this masculine and this karmic. Show me what's going on with this masculine and this karmic. Hold on. Let me see what this is. Show me what's going on between this masculine and this karmic. Okay. <sighs> There's a, there, okay, I'm going to just tell you this. We have bliss energy, commitment energy, emotional pain, and mature woman, okay? To me, this looks like a situation where this masculine or this feminine on the outside, everything looks like it's all like, you know, a, a beautiful, a beautiful painted picture or a beautiful family or something beautiful, but it's really not. This person is going through a bunch of pain, emotional pain. This masculine is like crying, done, emotional. Um, show me this mature woman energy. Oh, they're crying over you. Show me this mature woman energy. Hold on. Show me the mature woman energy. Uh, show me this mature woman energy. I'm putting that back. Clarify. Oh. Yeah, this person feels stuck. Oh, you know what, y'all? Listen, health concern is here in bondage. Somebody may be stuck with somebody because they're sick. Um... Show me more. What's this? What's this protection energy? Poverty. Ooh, ooh, child, child. Poverty and trusted. This masculine trusted this person, and all they did was get taken advantage of. They really did trust this person, and they thought this person was gonna have their back, and this person did not have their back. All this person did was use them, abuse them. They trusted you. They should have trusted you, but instead, they tr I feel like this person trusted somebody else, and now this person is stuck in a situation. Somebody may feel stuck to a person because they're helping take care of a mother, or they're you know, or they're helping take care of. Um, somebody, maybe a mother-in-law or something that that meant matter uh, to this person could have been met, messing around this other person that they're in this commitment with, or they've been together with for quite a while. This person may be older than them. Somebody here in the situation could be the mature woman. There's something going on here about a community. Hmm. Show me more here for this masculine.
Show me more here for this mascara. Show me more here for this mascara. Oh. Somebody's sending um death magic and spells. The opposition. Okay. And death magic is here. So this doesn't have to be legit like death magic. This could be gossip. This could be slander. This could be like bad news. But somebody here is thinking, did somebody put juju, bad juju on me to keep me stuck and keep me trapped here with thoughts and gifts? Like somebody could be thinking this masculine is finding out that maybe this person put some bad put some death spell or some magic on them to keep them stuck or to make put them in a situation where they have to stay stuck somewhere. This person's health is definitely involved in the situation or this person's health is declining. Show me more here for this masculine. No, show me about this karmic female. Abundance just came out in reverse. Karmic female, I'm telling you, has no money. They're using this masculine. The money may be done ran dry. Show me this karmic feminine in reverse. This karmic feminine. Flying monkey. Using somebody. Show me this karmic female. Okay. This divine masculine is here and love offers. So at one point, we do know that this ma divine masculine, right? The king of pentacles and the upright gave a love offer to the wrong person. But show me this love offer now. Show me this love offer. Rich girl in reverse. They gave they gave the um love offer, the masculine, gave the love offer to the wrong person. So this this feminine, this karmic feminine could have acted like somebody that they weren't were not. They could have portrayed themselves to be somebody who was, you know, oh, I'm your ride or die, or you know, um, I have this, I have that, I have this amount of money saved up, or this is what I make, and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be shady, but that's, I'm just telling you, that's the energy that's out here with this rich girl in reverse. They gave this masculine, this masculine gave this offer to this person who they thought they weren't who they thought they were. Show me this karmic feminine. And now they over here crying over, yeah, RIP, transition. This is, by now this masculine is realizing, oh shit, I don't fucked up. Show me more about this karmic feminine. Yeah, somebody has a family. This situation is definitely involving some form of family. So this priestess energy came out for this, for this divine, um, this feminine in reverse, the karmic feminine. Um, this could be somebody they have a family with, or you might have a family. You and your person may have had a family together. Show me this priestess. Oh, but this is blocked. If they sent some form of magic or whatever, you're protected. This energy was blocked. Show me this priestess energy. Because somebody definitely sent some bad juju or some chakra energy out. Let me show me one more for priestess energy. Divine feminine. Somebody's sending you the evil eye. Yes, they are. Divine feminine, I want you to know somebody got animosity towards you. They're jealous as fuck. They're jealous as fuck at you. Animosity, um, divinity, and evil eye. Okay? This this they're sending you this energy because you're single, you're sexy, and you're successful, okay? And you are this high priestess energy. You stay prayed up. You are the divine feminine, and you are protecting, and you are most of importantly healed, balanced, and powerful, just period. You are within alignment, within yourself. You don't need a man for anything, especially not for money, because you have your own. I love her because she got her own. Uh, uh, show me divine feminine show me this divine feminine mm -hmm. ascending 
you healed your inner child here, maybe. Um, show me this divine feminine. You are doing some, yeah. Look at you, honey. I'm tell. Um, excuse me. I just want to say this. There's energy here that maybe you may have lost a child. Um, in the situation or maybe recently, and I just want to give you my condolences for those of you who may have, um, lost a child. I'm really emotional right now. Oh my God. Um, ancestors and ascendant, you are, like I said, protected. You are balanced and somebody doesn't like it. And guess who doesn't like it? This Jezebel that we talked about earlier. They don't like that. Because your community is behind you or with you. Show me divine feminine energy, please. You are the real high priestess. Somebody tried to attach an entity, entity to you, send you an evil eye, send some black magic towards you because you're a rising star, because you're single. It's giving hater just a little bit. You could be on a platform. You could get a lot of attention, but for, for good reasons, for good purpose, right? Uh, this person is obsessed. Oh, so they are a fan. You got a fan collective. Look at this. Obsession. They are obsessed with you. Oh, look at this. This feminine is obsessed with you. Some of y'all dealing with a twin flame. Some of y'all dealing with a um, soulmate. Just apply it where it go. They tried to send this evil energy towards you. It got blocked, respectfully blocked, and declined. Show me more here, please, for this situation. What's the current? So what's the future energy here? Future energy for Divine Feminine? Future energy for Divine Feminine. Well, distant future just came out. Thank you. Oh, you winning. Is the, the future energy is you are winning. You might even uh, come into union with a twin here. That This don't, you know, just use your discernment, okay? It don't have to be the twin that you're already with. You could be with a soulmate. And you could be reuniting with your twin and you were with a soulmate. Flip and switch it. But in the, in the near future, Divine Feminine, you are moving directly into your north node, which is your, your healing, right? Because you're already well balanced and protected and in this divine feminine energy, right? You're single, you're sexy, and you're successful. But this is also you moving away from anything toxic and, and you winning, okay? Because then the, the next card out is the courthouse. you just winning. Everything is turning in your favor in the, in, in the distant future, it was a long road, but ahead of that road is a light at the end of the tunnel, which is the sun energy happiness. You might have had to go down this road on your own. It might have been difficult. You might have felt like nobody understood you. Nobody believed you. Um, show me near future energy for Divine Feminine. Who is this? Because this is some... Well, show me near future energy for Divine Feminine. Near future energy for Divine Feminine. Mature man. So you got to... Okay, in actual money. I feel like somebody's trying to block you. I do. I feel like somebody trying to block you. You y'all divine feminine near future energy is a, a mature male with some money. Okay. Um, mature male could be somebody older. It could be someone more, you know, emotionally available and mature, not with the bullshit and not with games. This is somebody who actually has some money who is not hurting for anything. I feel like, I don't know why the star seed and reversing community and reverses here. Other than the fact that I feel like you're going to have some haters. Because you are, that don't want to see you win, that don't want to see you in this star energy, or they don't want to accept you for, they don't want to see you win, or they don't want to see you, um, you know what song is coming to my mind right now? Holy Mountain. You reach the holy mountain. Um, who sings that? 
But these people are blocked anyway, okay? I think Holy Mountain, that's um, DJ Khaled and is that Bougie Bonton? Holy Mountain. I feel like that's you. Or it was you. Yeah, look at this. You reached the Holy Mountain. You see this in this dear distant future? The sun is just past these mountains and these hills, which is right out on the horizon. I feel like you reached the Holy Mountain. Are you about to be in Jesus name? And whoever this person is, bottom of the deck is they're going to be a nice guy. They're going to be a nice guy. This ending situation, this shit is ending. You from everything from the past, you're manifesting and moving on. <laughs> Somebody don't want to see you win. What's in the what's in the near future for this this uh, divine masculine over here that was dealing with this third party? What's in the near future for this divine masculine that was dealing with this third party? What's in the near future for this divine masculine that was dealing with this third party? What's in the near future? This divine masculine front that was dealing with the third party may be moving. They may be relocating. What's in the near future for a divine masculine? What is this? Ooh. What's in the near future for this? Okay. What's this message of concern here? Ooh, this divine masculine is going to have a tower moment. Yeah, thief. Oh, my goodness. Somebody's about to lose. This divine masculine is about to lose a house, some money. They may be having some legal issues. They might be relo relocating or moving. And this person is definitely, they might try to come in and try to steal you from this other person. Keep that in mind. That's not for everybody, okay? Be discerning of that inner energy. But we have love spell, house, change energy. And then we have high honor in reverse. So with message. So it's like this divine masculine in the near future is going to get some form of message or judgment, right? Judgment. This could be spiritual judgment or this could be like a court receiving some news that they have to relocate they're losing the house they're losing a job they they're losing something some form of tower moment here and this person is about to be praying like please lord help me like please clarify this destruction energy for this divine masculine clarify destruction energy Earth angel, pathway in reverse, and jealousy and envy in reverse. This person really don't low key don't want to see you move on, but they're still praying and hoping and wishing that they can still work things out with you because they do see you as an earth angel here. Okay, that's what this person is praying and wishing and hoping for. Um, relationship and ascending. I feel like this person is going to try very hard. Like I do feel like in the process collective, they're about to lose a lot. Whatever that they had, little they had left with this karmic. Unfortunately. But here we go again with the earth angels, ancestor and earth angels on the bottom of the deck. That's you. Look at you. I love that. I love this for you. You are highly supported. Work, labor, and efforts. Hello. So y'all are about to, your your our ancestors are about to send you some form of good news or something good is coming in for you. We did see that actual money coming in. We saw a new nice guy. Thank you, Lord, for you. You know. Let's see. What else for this divine masculine? Since this divine masculine is hoping and praying and wishing, let's see what what else this what else is how is the divine masculine feeling here about their divine feminine? They're ready to speak up. 
and tell the truth and they're really praying and hoping that that you are not ready to give up the situation they want to talk to you i'm not letting you go i will you will hear from me very soon don't give up on me career driven love is on the back burner until i'm financially stable money motivated that's what i'm saying this this person's about to have go through some changes financially with their home they might have lose a home they might have to sell a home like it's like some sort of judgment or some paperwork or some decision is going to be made whether it's in a spiritual realm or in a material 3d realm something is getting ready to happen this person's gonna have to follow orders and that might be paying alimony, child support, selling a house, like I said. But this person definitely needs to get the, wants to get that money up before they come back towards you. But they just praying and wishing and hoping. Please collect and wait for me. Will you wait for me? Spiritual detox. Now this masculine is like, I got to get away. I got to change my life. I got to release this situation. Major spiritual awakening, cleanse and rebirth. Yeah, they definitely going through it because you're the missing piece in this whole situation. They feel like the two of you were made for each other. Perfect pair. Well, I don't know if they feel like you were made for each other. I'm not really sure why this person felt the need to go be over here with this other person. But now, but now I guess they feel like that's what they want. That's what they... So some of y'all not going to take this person back. Y'all going to keep on moving. Remember, you reached the holy mountain. All right. See, this person is all talk. All talk. You may feel like this person has always been all talk, right? I know you're tired of hearing my excuses. All talk, no action. Hmm. But they took action with this other person and all this other person did was use them. Okay, it's sad. Proposal, taking the relationship to the next. Oh, so this person feel like because you won't listen to them because you, in the past, all they did was talk, 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 and they didn't show any action. They feel like the collective won't believe me if I don't come with something in hand. For some of y'all, this person is going to propose to you or they're going to want to be serious when they do pop back up because they know that's the only person that, oh shit, well, some of y'all, they might want to move in with you. Use your discernment. For some of y'all, somebody might come back and say, hey, let's move in together. Now, I'm not saying they're coming back to use you, but this card literally says taking the next steps in the relationship. Let's move in together and get married. Just be mindful if you do this. Pay attention to what they got going on. Don't be afraid to have a conversation and say, what's going on with your finances? I need bank statements. Don't rush it. Uh, if, for those of you who want this person back, right, really like get to know who they are right now, where they are, what the finances is looking like. Do they owe child support? Do they have back taxes? Did they sell that house? Like you really need to know these things because that person's karma is not your karma. No, make sure they're not trying to be no leech because you over here getting money. Okay. Getting money. Oh, look at this evil eye. All eyes are on you. There's jealousy, envy, and negativity being thrown your way. I told you, not only do I feel like this person, your person is jealous, um, and I feel like they're really low-key jealous because you may have, some of y'all may have already moved on. I definitely feel like the third party is jealous of you, but there's also people in your community around you because you are in this in this rising star, single, successful, you protected, you balanced, you got a lot of great things going for yourself. And people just don't want to see you in this energy. They want to gossip about you. Try to say you everything that you're not. Only because they want to be who you are. Star seed in reverse and community in reverse. Child, no. Hit the like button. I love you. Oh, no. Let's pull you a, um, I just got a new deck. We're going to pull you an African goddess rising card to close your reading out. But hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box. I love y'all. Very interesting reading tonight. 
Y'all hang in there. You're doing a great, a great job. I love y'all. You're doing a great job. Um, tell your haters bye. Okay. Um, African or tell them hello. Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> What's the what is the goddess energy here for my collective Holy Spirit to close the reading out for this for my divine feminine? Okay. Yasigi. Yasigi energy. The number 31 could be significant or the number four. You could be a life path number four. Um, Yasigi is the energy of live out loud. Go have your fun. Be you. Be don't you are in this rising star energy. I don't know if y'all can see that because there's a glare, but you are in this rising star energy. Don't don't let any don't dim your light for any dang on body. Let's read 31. 31 Yasigi. All right. Temple Griots, Element Water. So you definitely, some of y'all could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yasigi has the reputation of being a free-spirited party goddess. For the for the doggone people of Mali, she was the very first Yasigmi. The Yasigmis are women um, empowered to participate in the mass dances. So you could be a dancer. Um, or there's just something like your about your energy that's just like draws you to people, right? I mean, you are a star, empress. empress oh, I'm sorry. Express yourself. You have something to say. Share your voice and your magic. Express your uniqueness, your uniqueness. Okay, be who you are, basically. And and if what these people got have to say about it, the way you express yourself won't make everyone happy. That's okay. You are my, you're not meant to. Ooh, child, let me say that again. The way you express yourself won't make everyone happy. That's okay. You are not meant to. Living out loud and self-expression looks different for everybody. For go outgoing extroverts, self-expression may mean dancing on tables and screaming your points um, of, view, of view. Introverts may speak, speak out in other ways and save the louder parts of their personality for their loved ones. So not everybody deserves this energy uh, that you have to give. Um, you, Some of y'all may express yourselves in, in music and in dance and art. And some of y'all are just straight up truth tellers. So stay in that energy and use your discernment. It says, Goddess Declaration, I am here to express myself fully. So don't let these people stop you from expressing yourself whether it's how you express yourself and what you wear how you look what you have to say and how you say it they gonna hate either way if you tone it down they still gonna hate and say oh well you ain't saying blah, blah. like people are gonna always find something to complain about okay love you mean it see you later